Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're gonna be looking at sardines and tomato sauce from Squiddle Ink. Squiddle Ink is the design company of UK-based Stacey J. Kelly. She's a playing card enthusiast, longtime collector with a passion for design and in particular combining vintage and modern styles together in her work. I've long admired uh, Stacey's uh, enthusiasm and positivity in playing cards and can't wait to see what she brings with her art style to this nautical themed deck. So let's not waste any time, jump right into it. All right, so starting off with the tuck box. This one's done on a pearlescent stock and pearlescent just means that it has this sort of shimmering, shining quality, almost kind of a metallic look to it. You can see the shine and the sparkle that turn this one in the light. It's a subtle effect, but a nice kind of unexpected one. You don't see too often on decks, but I really love it when it's done. And the deck also has a nice embossing to it. Gives the entire tuck a nice premium feel overall. And you can definitely see what I mean about combining the vintage and the modern styles together. The whole uh, deck kind of has a feel of like a vintage ad style, but the clean lines, the modern colors, really kind of bring that more modern aesthetic into it as well. You get the sardines here at the top, almost looking like the uh, front of a tin of sardines. Uh, and then in tomato sauce down there at the bottom. Nice use of the colors on this one, the reds, the yellows, the blues combined together for really nice, bright, vibrant look that just helps all those designs pop out that much more. Fun look with the two sardines swimming there in the center, kind of a third there with the tail, and then the scene of the ocean in the background with the seaweed, uh, the waves, the ocean there as well. Fun look to it, bright, vibrant colors. In particular, I really love the reds on this one. And as you turn to the sides, so have sardines with a little sardine head and tail there at the top and the bottom. Same thing on the other side, some ad copy at the bottom. I mentioned Squid Link and Stacy, as well as uh, Legends who printed the deck on their Viper finish. And then the top just has a little bit of design work with more silhouette of waves there on the sides. And then the back has a design. So this isn't the back design of the cards, but a beautiful design that's very much inspired by sort of sailor tattoos. You get the big anchor there in the center, kind of a classic uh, sailor tattoo uh, motif with the wild caught North Atlantic, the uh, hooks in the background, the nautical rope, sailor is not there, the sardines swimming off in the background. Just a fun look to it overall. And again, a great blend of colors on this one. Those same colors appear on that postage stamp style seal. Again, just some nautical elements, the blue waves in the background, the yellow heart, uh, the nautical rope and the seaweed. Again, kind of a fun look to it overall. And a few more surprises as you open up the tuck box. You get some extra little artwork here on the inner flap and a nice hit of color with that yellow wave pattern printed all the way on the interior of the tuck as well. Yellow, a great contrast with that red uh, and just another fun little surprise as you open it up and another chance to really appreciate that pearlescent finish that you get on the stock. So that is the tuck box. Really nice look to it overall. Again, kind of the mixture of modern and vintage really captured nicely there. But let's check out the cards and we'll start with the back design. And here it is. So the back design inspired obviously uh, by the look of opening up a tin of sardines. You can almost imagine this like a tin here. You can see the sardines lined up as we're peeling the lid back. And where the lid's peeling back, you get a nice little surprise here, the silver foil. This was a stretch goal in the Kickstarter campaign. And I love that it's kind of a nice mirror finish. It's a flat finish to the foil. Really interesting texture, to be honest. Now, as you feel it, you can almost feel, it almost feels like embossing as you run your finger over it. You get a distinct texture change as you go from the ink areas to where the foil is. It's an interesting feel and a nice little unexpected surprise and a pop of, I guess I'll call it color or unexpected uh, look here on the cards themselves. Again, using those reds, yellows, and blues to great effect. Uh, giving you a nice vibrant feel to the tuck box, but that uh, that little hit of silver foil is really what's going to stand out more than anything. Finishes out with that thin yellow porker, uh, poker border around the edge for a nice, fun, vibrant back design to the cards. And then on to the faces, and we start with the two jokers, and we see the first couple of characters that we're going to see in the deck 
with the sea otters or the cavalier sea otters, I'll call them. Uh, definitely modeled after sort of a Three Musketeers vibe. I uh, get the cavalier hat with that big ornate ostrich feather, the monocle in the eye. Definitely also reminds me of like uh, Puss in Boots from the Shrek movies, if you've seen that. Uh, but the sea otter there with a very distinguished look. You get a red and a black joker. So the red joker with the spade reveal and then the black joker with the heart reveal. Fun look to them overall. Again, love the colors. The blue skin of the otter in particular really stands out on this one. So there's your two jokers. Uh, four aces on this one, all custom, starting with the ace of spades, definitely the power ace of the bunch. Again, nautical themes crammed into this one. You get the anchor there in the center, the ropes kind of curving up the sides of the pip, the seaweed growing out of the side, and then the bottom or the base of the pip here made out of a couple of hooks and a sardine tail. Very cool look to it overall. Nice little amalgamation of symbols there. And then very clean, modern font used for the Pippin Index in the corner with a fairly standard Pip there with the spade. Uh, embellished with those three little drops here. A little bit of an odd choice, but it does add a nice little pop of color using that teal once again in the corners there as kind of a, uh, an extra little element on the sides with the Pippin the Index. Other three aces are a little bit uh, more closer to standard, I'll call them. They do have larger pips there in the center, and you can see each one is embellished with its own little design. So the diamonds all have this anchor and rope. The uh, clubs have the uh, seaweed and starfish, and then the shell and bubbles on the hearts. The red cards have uh, uh, kind of a reddish orange color, not quite the uh, crimson that we're used to, but definitely nicely in keeping with the uh, red that's used throughout the rest of the deck. So you get that, that kind of reddish pinkish orange uh, on the red cards and the black cards with the classic black. So there's your aces. The number cards all have those same design pips. We haven't seen the spade pip before because we have the power spade, uh, power ace, but you do get that sailor's knot there in the middle of all the spades. Uh, pretty classic layout, but larger than normal spade pips. And then into the diamonds. So we saw this same design on the uh, Ace of Diamonds. I gotta say, as I'm flipping through this, I can even still feel that uh, metallic finish on the back design of the cards on my fingers. It's definitely an interesting sensation. So there's your clubs with that seaweed and starfish. And then into the hearts. So a lot more fun, great use of custom pips. I love a good, simple, straightforward, but fun and unique custom pip. And then we get into the court cards and the court cards are gonna take us on a journey of the seas. Uh, they're, I'll call them quasi repeating, not quite repeating, but you can definitely see similarities as we go through the different court cards. So all four of the kings in the deck represent uh, sailors out on the seas, fishermen who might be out going to catch sardines of their own and definitely a similar style. You'll see differences in what they're wearing, even the poses to some degree, but a lot of similarities. So each one of them has a fisherman here, uh, the coat. Love the addition of the little uh, crown emblem there on the hat, uh, kind of a nod to the royalty that are classically used on the court cards. Uh, the, the waves in the foreground, the boat, in the, the fishing boat in the background, really great look to it overall. Uh, love the design on these, uh, the two-way court, so you get the uh, kind of reflected image with that wave forming the border in the center. And the other three, similar, so you'll see like, you know, the hair color changes, the style of the hat, so this one's wearing the beanie there. Uh, but very similar look to them overall. So not quite repeating courts by any means, which is something that really bugs me in decks, but it is closer to repeating. I would have liked to have seen maybe a little bit more distinguishing in the characters, but definitely enough here, I think, to kind of cross that bar and give it some variation. So there's your kings. As you go to the queens, we go to another uh, kind of staple of sailor life, the, uh, the myth that they all love, the myth of the mermaid. So we get four beautiful mermaids that are depicted on the four queens. All of them have that long flowing hair. You can see the tail flipping up through the waves. Love the kind of wrapped armband on this one, the rope over the shoulder. Really kind of gives her that regal look to it overall. She almost has an angry look on her face, the crown on her head, just a beautiful look to them. And you'll see the poses again kind of change slightly. Hair color, I love the red hair here uh, that's used on the uh, club and the hearts. I think that one really stands out nicely. And then as we get to the uh, to the jacks, the jacks represent children, kind of sailors in training. These are maybe the fishermen of the future or the pirates of the future. 
each one of them, kind of a boy here sitting in a classic children's sailor's outfit. Uh, has the bird in the background. This one has a pelican perched in the back on the nets there. As uh, you go to the diamond here, similar kid, kind of a different pose with a seagull this time. And then there's the jack of clubs. This one dressed a little bit more like a pirate. And then the jack of hearts, another pirate there with the uh, pelican in the back. So fun design on the jacks as well. So like I said, you know, almost repeating quartz, but enough differentiation there, I think, to kind of cross that line for me. And that is the deck. Fun, vibrant design, lots of great colors and lots of fun little elements throughout. Now, as far as handling, these are done on the uh, Viper finish from Legends. Now, I don't have too much experience with the Viper finish, but I gotta say, it is a nice handling deck of cards. Very smooth look to them, almost slippery when you have them in your hands, which is impressive, even with that nice flat panel of uh, foil there. Still handles really, really nicely. So if you're a cardist or something like that, I would imagine you won't have too much trouble with these. Nice, uh, sturdy feeling stock, and supposedly these hold up really well to use. At least that's what they say. Uh, anyway, that is it. That is the look at sardines in tomato sauce from Squiddle Inc. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to pick up one of these decks for yourself. Maybe you missed them on the campaign. Definitely recommend them. It's a great fun deck and a good one to have on the shelf. Anyway, right, hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews, more unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see, and I'll see you for the next one.